We're talking here about a day uh, to have the, uh, the candidates for national service uh, get to know the, uh, the Centers for Jewish Identity. So first of all, a few words about these centers. What are they? We set up these centers about 20 years ago. We began with four centers when we realized that children in Israel who do not go to religious schools are very much lacking in their knowledge of their heritage. That we realized that something has to be done and done quickly. And therefore we started to set up centers for Jewish education, Jewish identity, from which girls, young girls, girls of national service, go out and in an informal way try to bring to these children uh, the heritage, the Jewish heritage that they are so much uh, lacking. So tell us about that really, that informal method, this informal way of education. What are they doing out there basically? What the girls are doing is after a lot of preparation of games, of uh, Hatzagot, plays, uh, all kinds of productions, all kinds of activities that are informal but are to a certain point in terms of trying to uh, show the importance of, the, uh, of Jewish uh, values, of Jewish uh, symbols. Um, they go into the schools, um, they become part of the, almost part of the staff on a regular basis in many cases. And the schools cooperate? The schools cooperate, the parents are enthralled. One of the things that uh, uh, worried us in the very beginning was how would parents who send their children to a non-religious uh, educational institution uh, would react to this type of activity. But because this activity is not one of a missionary nature, it's one of an educational nature, and trying to have the children through enjoying the activity, learning at the same time about values between what we call Ben Adam uh, between uh, one and his fellow man, one and his fellow man, um, values of, uh, um, of of Jewish history, knowing about figures in our past, figures from the Bible, uh, the holidays. Uh, treating the holidays in a much more intensive manner so that the uh, children uh, will have a much greater appreciation. Of so that. you're saying that the parents were happy. How about the children? What are the responses the, that the, the National Service girls are reporting about? Okay. Uh, I mentioned that when we started there were four America Zim, four centers. Today there are 60. And I still try and to visit most of them each year. I usually get to about 40 to 45 a year. And in each school that I go and I see the activity and speak to the principal, I also speak to the children. And I ask the children in an informal basis, on an informal basis, after the activity, how was it? The big word, of course, is kef. But then I ask them. Which means fun. Which means fun. But then I ask them, but what did you learn? And they start to tell me uh, what they learned. Another point I want to make here is this is an opportunity for all children to participate. This is a, a young girl who they feel close to. I've seen them actually cry in June when the girl says, I'm not going to be here next year. And they start to cry and they are, get an answer from the girl, don't worry, I'm sending my friend in September. But the children uh, get so attached to, um, to these girls. Uh, these madrichot, the, the, uh, these guides. Um, and one last point I'd like to mention is it gives an opportunity to children who are not great academic achievers to feel at home and even to excel. I once went to one of the principals and I said, that was some class, especially that one child. And I, she said, what's his name? I, I had asked the name before I left the classroom. She says, I want you to know He's on the border of a special education case. He destroys all classes. He doesn't learn very much. I said, but I want to tell you something. He was excellent. He led them in the activities. So it's a good opportunity for everybody. And it's done in such a fun type of, uh, of, of environment with all kinds of, of, of films, of, uh, of games, of... Um, uh, theater, they have um, puppet theaters, etc., that the children wait. The principals tell me often that they don't dare um, cancel a lesson, even for a sport day. When it's with the National Service Girls. Because they say, if I do that, the children will kill me. 
because they're going to miss those girls. And that's how we know that uh, they're doing a good job.